Yo, what's up? This is Christopher. Today I'm going to look at the 10.5 inch smart cover for the iPad Pro. As you can see here, this is for the 10.5 inch. Hopefully that's focused in up there. But uh, anyway, so I grabbed the smart cover today because, you know, I don't want to carry the keyboard case all the time on my iPad. It's quite heavy too if you're using it, like if you're reading on it, like having to grip, especially with this little hump is with the keyboard right here, it makes it kind of cumbersome to use. So the 9.7 inch iPad, this smart cover does not fit on the 10.5 inch. I've tried it, the magnets don't line up right. And you know, I just more or less wanted uh, the smart cover to prop up like when I'm watching a movie or something laying in bed which of course I can use the keyboard cover but then you gotta like prop the keyboard out and have other cases that I could use as well but I like the smart cover just because it's sleek and you know it's just whatever I just like it I've had one for every iPad that I've ever owned so the 10.5 inch iPad is no different so I got the, this is just the rubber, the charcoal gray silicone smart cover. It's no different than the um, other smart covers for the iPad. As you can see, it has like this felt material on the inside, which actually gets kind of dirty and nasty right there, you can see. And this is supposed to uh, clean the iPad when you have it on the iPad. It's supposed to like clean the screen, which the iPad is a friggin' fingerprint magnet. Like, I don't know, one thing Apple hasn't done is they haven't gotten better about <laughs> getting the iPad or any of the devices to uh, keep them from getting fingerprints so much. So, yes, this is, this is the rubber one. I like the leather ones. reason why I went with the rubber, the leather ones are a little bit heavier, and when you're reading with the leather one on, it feels like it's a little more tough on the hands, on the corners right here when you're holding it for long periods of time. So that's why I opted for the uh, silicone one or the rubber uh, case. I just wanted to show you, let me grab the 9.7 inch iPad. So <laughs> put it on the 10.5 inch iPad. So I just wanted to show you that these do not fit. So you'll see that it kind of like attaches, but it falls off as you can see. Whereas if I put this one on here, it's not going anywhere. I mean, I could hold my iPad like that and it's not going anywhere. With this one, if I try to do that, it would drop like, <laughs> like it, it falls or whatever. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but yeah, it doesn't support it. Now the 10.5 inch uh, iPad smart cover and then the 9.7 inch one, uh, it's the same thing. It doesn't like, well, this one actually feels a little bit more sturdy when I'm holding it. And you probably could, I don't know, it just doesn't fit at all. The magnets can not line up. I mean, yeah, you can't even get away with trying to use it as a stand. So that is the main reason why I grabbed the smart cover for the 10.5 inch iPad Pro. This is my preferred way to travel with my iPad. You know, if I'm going out of town or something, um, I normally just throw on the little silicone cover, throw it in the bag, and I'm good to go. And I've bought some sleeves and a couple cases for it. Now, one thing with the, if I travel from now on, I'll probably bring the uh, smart keyboard cover instead, just so I have the keyboard. But I do like just having the flat, uh, thin silicone cover for the iPad Pro. I just feel it's more comfortable um, from, you know, most cases how I use my iPad. I'm probably not going to need a keyboard. So, you know, this right here is much more ideal. But uh, if you have any questions or comments about it, feel free to leave that below. Peace. The way in which you destroy the bomb is get him to destroy himself.